Hi everyone, how's it all been going? Welcome back. Thank you for still watching. And today we will be trying out chicken fettuccine carbonara from Kohl's. And this one has a three and a half health star rating and it says so stall free. I don't know what that means, but it's a picture of um, a pig. And it also says RCPA approved farming. So that one I know. Um, there's so much ingredients. I'm just gonna list it down and show you. And also this is made in Australia from Australian and important ingredients. And I need to cook this for eight and a half minutes because I think my wattage is 800 watts. Without further ado, let's begin. Now that it's been microwaved for eight and a half minutes and left uh, for another two minutes after stirring, we're gonna taste it. Okay, so this looks a bit um, yellowish, if I may, and it smells really, really creamy. And there's bits and pieces of, I believe this is either chicken or pork. This looks like chicken to me and yeah it smells like you put cream in it um, yeah it smells like obviously mushroom because this is fettuccine carbonara and I think carbonara's default is that you need to put cream and mushroom and yeah what else does it smell like Tastes like, smells like milk as well. Okay, let's try the fettuccine itself. So fettuccine is like that flat noodles basically. I think this is the Italian version of flat egg noodles in Asia. Hmm. I like that the fettuccine is not soggy and it's also not too firm or like al dente it's just it's okay it's all right i guess let's go with the taste i couldn't taste anything i don't know maybe i should really stir this more I mean, I taste something, but it's almost like just you put um, one spoonful of flavor on top of all this. It it tastes like that. Like it's not a whatever flavor they put in. It's not being absorbed by the noodles. Maybe it's just me. I really couldn't taste anything. I couldn't taste the cream. I couldn't taste if it's salty. It's not salty at all. It. I am looking for that kind of um, saltiness and pepperish flavor for the carbonara. I mean, my standards are low. Um, I've only been eating carbonara from, I think... Uh, back in another country and 
it's not Italian. It's just, um, it's an Italian shop or restaurant, but I think it wasn't like those classy actual Italian. So I'm just expecting this to be creamy, a bit like salty in flavor, or at least I could taste it. This one is just, I don't know, it's, <laughs> it's like a creamy noodle that doesn't have, that doesn't taste anything. It's just the texture that's present. I can confirm that the meat that I've showed earlier is chicken. Now that I have eaten the chicken with the noodles, it tastes like chicken. But I still couldn't taste the carbonara. I'm so disappointed. Well, not like disappointed. What do you expect from um, like a can, um, a frozen thing? But, you know, most of Cole's instant or like frozen food are decent. Like I love all their stuff. At least the ones that I've tasted like butter chicken, satay chicken, um, whatever else I've reviewed. But this one seems like, um, yeah, not exactly sure of what to feel about this. I can't even taste uh, the mushroom. Hmm. Or maybe this is really the way how should car car carbonara should taste. Okay, I'm really trying, guys. I I really am. Okay, one more. Let's give this a chance. Mm -mm. It doesn't taste like anything. Like, it doesn't taste <laughs> at all. So I'm just going to put iodized, my, my salt. Maybe that would enhance the flavor. Okay, let's see. I mean, sorry, I t forgot to tell that the chicken is perfectly cooked, like. I give it that. Maybe I put too much salt. Now it's too salty. Should stir it more. Mm, no, that's better now that I've stirred it. So this one tastes like um, a bit of the carbonara because the, sh the salt kind of, uh, the additional salt kind of made it pop out, like the milk and the cream. And I guess to cut it short, um, this is not a creamy carbonara that you would expect. Like the taste, it's creamy. In its texture but um, it's not um, I guess like the best frozen food that Coles can offer from my perspective at least so yeah would I try this again yes because I love fettuccine but under the rarest of circumstance I will probably try another brand so just I could see if it's me or it's really how frozen fettuccine should taste like. So yeah, I hope you learned something. Anyways, how have you been? Have you been doing something like different the past few weeks? I haven't been so kind of occupied with um, work and some other things that I should be probably focused at, but yeah. Um, yep, I still haven't gotten my, um, fraud refund yet from my car that was stolen. 
so that's pretty bummed um i know it will come it's just taking a while and yep a lot of a lot of things like you know the weather is just so depressingly cold and it just affects your mental health i mean not so much but uh yeah i should be taking probably that vitamin d is it vitamin d or vitamin a i don't know like the sun vitamin whatever that is and just to make me feel better like to boost my mood because really um today is it's better though like the sun is really shining and it's so sunny it's perfect and i should have gone somewhere but i didn't because i i don't know just something told me not to go and now i'm totally regretting my decision because i could be elsewhere like outside of melbs right now and here i am in melbourne still because I stupidly followed <laughs> whatever instinct I had last Thursday. I don't know what it is, but I wasn't in the mood. Anyways, I've been talking too much. How, how are you? Uh, okay, I'll see you then. And please subscribe and like and tell me what you want me to try next. Bye.